you've just seen me quickly cut out the fabric and pin it on. And I don't know if you've picked up on that, but I am looking according to the light, making sure it's in place and I've got enough on either side. So let's pin that last one in place and then let's take and cut back and place our second piece of fabric on like that or should I say like this and I'm going to go ahead and sew that and that's how we align our petals up we've got four per forget-me-not so there's four per each flower and that's how we started off it's in a different color than our fabric because um, I did tape it but I just can't find where I taped it for but so the rest of it will be your fabric colors Now, go ahead and finish sewing them. So they're all sewn. I'm going to press open now. And I've got this one sewn together and showing you why you want to do it exactly the same way when you go to sew. Put the these guys on and trim. You want to make sure your, your fabrics are orientated either up and down or sideways, however you decide to do it. But you want them to be all the same. So that is just a visual of why it needs to be, these ones need to be done exactly the same. They're directional. The other ones, not so much. I'm gonna press. Don't and I fix that one. Let's open it up. And this is where we go to trimming. So I'm just going to set that aside and I'm going to grab my trimming board. And we're not going to be too fussy about trimming. We're just going to make sure we've got at least a quarter of an inch there. And we'll just go till we're done. all trimmed up I um, made sure it was a quarter of an inch along my sides um, so I know I'm gonna go and I'm gonna rip off the paper at this point and I'm not gonna worry about their proper sizing until we've gotten to the point where we've got them at this stage and this is the stage where I'll go and I'll trim them down I am also not going to worry about them being perfect. Um, not the point of this go round. This go round, we're just learning different techniques and different styles and just expanding on the basics of basic quilting and sewing, I suppose. And having fun because I love trying new things and doing new things, so maybe others do too. So we're just gonna line it up like our other block to make sure that, you know, we've got our pattern that makes it look like the flower. And because I am very forgetful, I just will very quickly turn this over and pin it. And then set it aside to sew. And because I know what side it's pinned on, I know what side to sew on. Because that's how it works for me. The side I pin on is the side I sew on. And then I know now I can set it aside. And then I can just chain sew all three of these flowers. And at this point, it's easier to 
do the pa taking the paper off. And at this point, because we don't have to go into the corners here to take it out, so let's just make our lives as easy as possible, in my opinion. And get this done. Got these ones done. So let's just press open. I'm gonna press to the unsewn side because we don't want to press in on. We can avoid it in on a, a layer. And we'll just flip like that and we get our flower and. Once again, this is how I get my points. I just butt them up really nice together. And like I say, you can feel them just slide into place. And we're ready for the next round. So I'll finish up the last two. Press these open. Here are our little pinwheel flowers, forget-me-nots, that we want to trim down. And these want to be trimmed down to four and a half. So we're going to need at the two and a quarter which will be our center. Let's line that up. Okay, so we've got our four little flowers trimmed down to where we want them. Next, we're going to need our corner pieces, which will end up being our leaves, and our center piece, which is just spare. A spare background. So we've got eight of these. We're going to do our half square triangles to make the leaves. And then they're going to fold back like that. And then that will give us our leaves. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these. And we're just going to place them kitty corner to one another. And sew. And then open. And then we'll have our leaves. We have the first half done, trimmed. Now we're going to press. We're going to press to the dark, so I'm going to press from the back this time. So now we've got half the petals started. So, so let's go and do the rest. I have got everybody sewn up here and now just to join our rows and this one we're going to press inward so that well, I'll show you in a bit but I put my, our three rows together and then I will show you how I've pressed them and then we can put our three rows together so we can finish our block. 
So I have our three rows sewn together. Uh, the middle row we've got pressed to the inside and the top and the bottom rows pressed to the outside. So this is where we would pin these together and finish our block. Here we have our block all nicely pressed, sewn together. We've got the in middle row towards the center, the two top and bottom rows towards the outside, and then the rest we've just pressed to the center. So there we go. And here it is in the alternate color. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. I had a lot of fun designing this one. And I hope you had a lot of fun sewing it up.